Clément, we see that the volcano has calmed down. I, I imagine people there are still very much on edge. That's right. This, uh, although uh, local authorities say they are now cautiously optimistic, they say the situation has improved dramatically overnight. Uh, they say it's now uh, under control for now. Of course, they're still urging uh, vigilance. Uh, you mentioned uh, that uh, thousands of people uh, fled their homes overnight. Well, uh, now most of them have returned from either Rwanda or uh, towns and neighborhoods on the outskirts of uh, Goma. So many are hoping uh, uh, for things to go back to normal this um, uh, Sunday. Uh, lava flows, uh, meanwhile, um, have uh, stopped uh, now overnight. Uh, just a few, uh, just um, hundreds of meters north of Goma uh, Airport, the uh, airport and the city of Goma itself have uh, mostly been uh, spared, but damages have been reported in uh, some areas. Uh, for example, in the town of uh, Buhini, uh, where uh, houses were uh, destroyed. It's not clear whether there were any uh, casualties in the town. Uh, the government, uh, once again, is urging vigilance, warning that the situation could uh, change again in the coming uh, hours. Uh, an official statement is expected in the coming uh, hours uh, to provide more uh, details as to uh, the exact extent of the destruction uh, around Goma. Okay, our correspondent Clément Bonnereau in uh, Kinshasa.